Let's use directory traversal to hack into a website. Here's our target. Lo-fi music, cool beats to listen to. Relax. Now, this is going to be like a stupid, easy hack. I could teach a five-year-old baby to do this hack. Just remember, only do this on systems you are authorized to do this on. Don't do it on systems you're not authorized to do it on. It is illegal and there will be consequences. Educational purposes only. There's my disclaimer. Now, let's get into the hacking. So we have this website. Cool beats to listen to. Lo-fi. You got the lo-fi girl. You got the discography. You have relax. You have sleep. You have chill. Coffee. A private video. Vibe. And another video that's unavailable. And game. Which is another video that's unavailable. So what if I wanted to listen to them? How am I supposed to vibe out and hack this website? Anyway, we are going to be hacking this website with a technique called path traversal and slash or directory traversal. Now in cybersecurity, speed is everything. Breaches often begin with a single exposure, such as this directory traversal here, or an open cloud bucket, a forgotten subdomain, or an API spun up without your knowledge. The question is who finds it first? You are the attacker. Stay ahead of threats with Intruder, the sponsor of today's video. Intruder is the exposure management platform that helps lean engineering and security teams stay ahead of threats by unifying vulnerability management, attack service discovery, and cloud security. Intruder continuously detects vulnerabilities across your entire infrastructure, including over a thousand attack service issues other platforms miss. And it's always on, giving you peace of mind by catching cloud misconfigurations early and checking your systems within hours when new vulnerabilities emerge. Using real-world threat intelligence, Intruder highlights the issues most likely to be exploited, so you can fix your real risk before attackers take advantage. The platform helps you save time and speed up fixes with integrations with Jira, Slack, Microsoft, Sentinel, and more. Plus, support from Greg, your embedded AI security analyst. Stop breaches before they start with Intruder. You can start a 14-day free trial today at intruder.io. Link is in description. And you may be asking yourself, what is path traversal? Well, I will show you in a cool diagram I made myself, not AI. So we have our hacker right here. He's going to this page, this website, images, question mark, file name equals pepe.png. And then when he goes to this URL, it shows an image of Pepe dressed like a clown. Searching that URL gets you this image. Now with directory traversal, you have the image question mark file name equals slash dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash etc slash password. And then it spits out all of the passwords in the Etsy file. And this is for Linux. If you know Linux, you know what this file is. Basically it gets you all the passwords on the system, uh, pretty much. But then there's a shadow file and the difference between password and shadow, they're very similar, but very different. I did an explanation on it in one of my older videos. I don't know which one, but basically that's just the gist of it. And you may be wondering why the dot dot slash? Well, let me tell you. Each of these dot dot slash is going up in the web server directory. So you have password, then you go up to Etsy, then you go up, 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 up to root. You're traversing up directories to get to the directory you want and around directories, things like that. Because for this attack to work, there's no input validation. So you can just bop around and just access anything in the server and there's not proper validation. And usually it is like three to five moves to reach up to the root directory. That's just kind of like a common guess or theme, but you never really know unless you try it out yourself. So that's how you get access to things on a web server when there's no input validation. Now for this website, if you click on relax, we see the IP question mark page equals relax.php up in the URL up here. If we go to sleep, you see sleep.php up here and so on and so forth. Now for this one, we are inputting question mark page equals dot dot slash so on and so forth slash Etsy slash password. So let's see. And here 
you have the password file. Root, daemon, bin, games, proxy, backup, nats, nobody, things of that nature. But we are looking for the flag. So based on this criteria that we've just discovered, directory traversal, we can try slash flag.txt. And here we have the flag. Thus, our theory about the slashes and the dots and the directory traversal worked. Now, this is a very manual way to do this. You could totally automate this with things like Burp Suite. If you want to do it manually, that's cool. If you want to do it automated, that's cool too. Whatever, whatever suits your fancy. Anyway, that's another website hacking trick for you. Make sure you do this only on systems you are authorized to do this on, on VMs, things like that. And don't do this illegally. And this is for educational purposes. Another disclaimer. Anyway, that is it for the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, punch all the buttons in the face, and I'll see you in the next one.